Hello, my name is Sebastian. I'm going to teach you how to land a plane using the horizontal situation indicator that you've seen me use in my other videos. The horizontal situation indicator is an instrument that shows you two important details. It shows you how far above or below or on the glide slope you are and how far to the left or to the right of the runway you are. So what I'll do is I'll show you what a glide slope is and then I'll show you how to fly it using the horizontal situation indicator. So what we're looking at here is a plane that's about to land on a runway and what it's doing is it's going down the glide slope. The glide slope is marked using the black line here. The glide slope is the angle at which the plane needs to land to touch down the runway at a smooth rate. So what you can see here, this line marked glide slope is going at about 30 degrees. And if the plane follows it all the way down, it'll touch the runway where it's shown on the runway. The line at the bottom is the distance to the runway. So as you can see, to get closer to the runway, the lower the plane needs to be in order to touch the runway at the right point. So what I'll show you next is what it looks like on the glide slope itself using the indicator. So what you're looking at here is the horizontal situation indicator and what it's showing you is that purple dot in the center that's uh, being shown with the green arrow. That purple dot is appearing right at the center of the glide slope indicator. So that indicates that the plane is at the right altitude for the right distance from the runway. This indicator shows you that the plane is too low. So you can see on the glide slope line, the plane is below it. So on the glide slope indicator, that purple dot is above the center line, which means that you're too low. So that you either need to increase your altitude or to keep flying so that you're no longer dropping. So you basically can increase the power for a period of time until you get back to the center of the glide slope indicator. This shows that the plane is too high above the glide slope. So you can see the purple dot is now below the center line on the glide slope indicator. So in this case, what the pilot needs to do is increase the rate of descent or simply point the nose down to decrease the altitude until the indicator gets to the center. So what you want to do is keep the glide slope indicator at the center or slightly below uh, at all times. The HSI, or Horizontal Situation Indicator, is the compass on the right side of the instrument. So what the compass is showing on the left side here is that the plane is too far to the left of the runway. So you can see the arrow is actually broken up. You see the yellow line of the arrow, and then in the center there's a line that's off to the right side. So what this is indicating is that the plane is too far to the left of the runway, and that you need to fly to the right to actually cause that arrow to line up properly. On the right side, the plane is too far to the right, therefore the pilot needs to turn to the left. So in, in this case, the left turn will basically make the arrow a straight line to then cause the plane to, to land right on the center of the runway. So that's an overview of the horizontal situation indicator. I'll show you actually how to do a proper landing with it in the next video.